today we are here to review the testing, so stay tuned if you want to learn more about it. Today we're going to be reading the testing. Sorry, super shiny cover. Ah, this is by Joel Sherbon. Name I can't pronounce. Anyway, I actually just finished reading this book, and I don't know if it won for a review or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's get to it. So the first part of this is going to be spoiler free, and then I will let you know when you can't watch anymore because it's about spoilers. Anyway, if you guys don't know about this book, this is. I didn't know much about it myself until I read it. It's about this war that left the war that left the world like unravaged and stuff. So they've been trying to rebuild it. And what they do usually is all these kids go to school, and then I think at when they're done with school, they take um, they might get chosen for this thing called the testing. And the testing is pretty much their one chance at a college education to like be a future leader, to be like a big part to help rebuild the community to what. To what it once was. The main protagonist's name is Sia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And she has been chosen to be a she has been chosen to be a testing candidate, obviously, by the title of this book. She is basically gonna prove her worthiness to be a university. So after the testing, you if you pass the testing, you get to go on a university, like I said. So yeah, that's what this book is all about. It's kind of almost confusing in a way. This was a good book. Don't get me wrong. I actually really liked it. There was a lot of parts I wasn't a huge fan of, but overall I did like it. It did help. It did hold my interest. I will say the beginning was a very rocky start. I was like, this needs to pick up if I want to keep reading because it was not that fast. So we have Sia. Sia is our main protagonist. And um, I liked Sia. I didn't love her. I still feel like Sia is a big question mark. I feel like when I read Sia, like I can tell like she's being truthful. She's being herself. She's laying it all out there. But I still feel like I just, she's like too likable almost. Like I feel like she doesn't make any bad choices. Like she's very smart. She's like, let's do this. Like I don't really feel like we see her emotions that well, if that makes any sense. So yeah. Overall, I do like this book. I will continue reading on this series strictly because of the ending of this book. What a great cliffhanger that was. I don't mind cliffhangers a lot usually because it keeps me interested in the next book and it keeps me wanting more and this definitely had it. So the book was really, the book was good and then it got to the end and I was like, holy crap, the, that the ending was great. So I will read it for that. So I will say if you're a fan of dystopian and stuff like that, I would check out this book, but I would go into it expecting it to be, I would, I don't know. It's kind of like the Hunger Games almost. I could see a lot of similarities, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but just, just know that. So it's a, I think it's a possibly buy, maybe borrow from the library maybe you don't need it in your collection question mark and that didn't help out at all oh well anyway spoiler time so if you haven't read this book don't watch any further if you do shame on you you're gonna spoil yourself with the book but it's okay because i do that crap all the time <laughs> anyway so sia like i said sia was just a big question mark like sometimes i was just like i, I just don't i don't i know i don't know what she's doing so yeah, so pretty much we had this testing thing, and we learned that Sia has two brothers, I think. I'm very forgetful. And her dad, that was actually a testing candidate, and he went to university, and he's one of the great, like, kind of rebuilders. He's, like, almost agriculture, kind of science-y. And before Sia goes into the testing, he tells her to trust no one, that there was a lot of memories that has been wiped from him, and a lot of things that he doesn't remember, but he remembers certain aspects, and it was scary, and he was just like... He didn't honestly want his daughter to go into the testing, so he was very hesitant. So that when what that means is, I think if Sia's dad would have never told her about that, Sia would have been completely oblivious. She just would have been in testing. Ah, yay, yay, yay. So I'm glad her dad said something to her, like, trust no one to watch your back always, because holy crap, that is the truth for this book. You need to, like, trust no one. So Sia goes in this testing and she meets um, with, like, I think... Four other people within her colony, everything's kind of divided up into colonies almost, as if the Hunger Games, if you will. <laughs> but um, they meet up with all these other kids and they get through various testings, like everything's a different test. I think the first day is like 
500 different things about written exams. And the next day you have this exam that's like you have to practice something. And if somebody like dies from a repercussion of the, like if you choose the wrong plant, like they're just like, you're dead, you don't make it. And I was like, holy crap, these are kids. That is harsh. But then again, so was the Hunger Games. <laughs> I'm not comparing that that much to this book, I promise. But, um, so yeah, and then we go into the final leg of the testing, which is like a survival thing almost. They say, if you can get from point A to point B, you will be accepted in university, pretty much. That's the part that I think that was most like the Hunger Games, because it was almost like a survival kind of, good luck, if people kill you, that's fine, you need to do it on yourself. So I was like, okay, which is, I don't really feel like that teaches a lot of leadership. I know for one is I think I'm a good leader and I don't know how well I would do if I got thrown in that situation for a bit. I don't think that affects my leadership at all. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just saying don't throw me in a wasteland and expect me to survive because I probably won't. So with that, we meet a couple of other people. We meet Thomas, who is also from her colony and she has kind of always had a crush on Thomas. You know how it goes. And there is romance in this book, but it was romance I didn't even enjoy. And guys, let me tell you. You guys know how much I love my romance. Like, you know I love contemporary. You know I love some romance. And I was not feeling this one at all. Like, I feel like C and Thomas, I'm like, this is weird. Like, I didn't, I, didn't, I don't know. It just I didn't feel like it was a very plausible and realistic romance. Maybe that's because Thomas is a complete question mark. I feel like he is hiding so much and I feel like I can't trust him. Like, if there was a 100% scale of where I fought and and trusting him, I'd be on like the 10%. That's how much I don't trust him. So we see that Thomas is protecting Sia and all this other stuff, but we have other people telling her, don't don't trust him because he's going to turn his back on you just like that. Like Will. Was that that guy that Will? That turned your back on him? That almost tried to kill them? Anyway, so Thomas, I just feel like, I'm just like, we don't know him. He could have killed that girl. He probably did. So this whole testing thing is like a trust no one kind of campaign. Like you can go only into this trusting yourself because at the end, that's the only person you can really rely on is yourself, honestly. And if I was going this testing thing, I would hope I would find someone that I could, I could trust. But honestly, I would just be like, you can't really trust anybody. So I feel like Sia needs to learn that she, I can tell that she still has her guard up around Thomas, which I'm grateful for. I'm like, thank God for that. But uh, the testing, it's just the one person I think that we can trust is her trainer, whoever helped them out, whatever. I think his name's Michael. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I feel like he's got a little bit of something. Like, I feel like something's gonna go on with him. And then we had that homeless guy who helped and give her food and all that kind of stuff. And he said, here, take this drug before you go into the testing thing and you will have your memories, hopefully. That was kind of shady. There's still a lot of questions unanswered, which is why I will continue to read on this series. I don't know if the author did that intentionally. If so, good job. But I just want to know more. See, the ending of this book was phenomenal. Like, when I was reading the end of the book, when I was on the very, very last page, because there's, if you can see, the book ends right here. Like, this is the end of the book. This. So you still have all these pages behind it. So you're like, this book won't end for a while. So I'm reading the last page, turn the page. What? There's nothing more. Coming soon in 2004 and 2013. Independent study. What the heck? What? What? <laughs> That's the end of it? The end was great. When she freaking turned on that, what is, whatever it's called, the transit communicator, and she learned there's a button, she had recorded herself talking about her memories and what happened. Awesome! That was so good. I think that is just a phenomenal idea right there. And I cannot wait to see how she, because basically her memories were wiped. You know, she doesn't really remember much going into university, but then she sees the transit communicator and she hears her own voice telling her, hey, here's what happened. Don't trust anybody. Thomas could have killed somebody. That guy Will over there? Yeah, he tried to kill you. So yeah, watch your back, lady. Um, so I am excited to see the next book in this. I will be buying it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I will buy it because overall I do enjoy this, but 
Like I said, it does remind me of the Hunger Games, especially with the scenarios. And then we had those wolf-like people, and I was like, that's kind of like the Hunger Games. And then a lot of it just kind of reminded me of the Hunger Games. It's like the Hunger Games, but not 100%. But then again, I think a lot of books are almost similar to the Hunger Games, just like a lot of books might be similar to Divergent, just like a lot of books might be similar to Harry Potter, all that kind of stuff. I think that with books that you kind of have to have that open mind that you can't go into this thinking, this is a complete rip off of the Hunger Games. Kind of go into it, just taking it for what it is. Don't try to compare it because I think that's what ruins a lot of books sometimes. People try to say like, this was just like that book and I can't believe they copied it. You just, I don't think you can do that. I said, if I can give this book a rating, this is gonna be a very tricky rating. I'm gonna give it a 3.75. Way to be precise, Heather, right? I know. <laughs> um, the reason why I would give that is because for my four to five stars, I usually love those books. Like when I give a book a four star, I pretty much love it. There's just a few kinks I didn't like. But this one had a little bit too much kinks for me, which is why I'm giving a 3.75. Books I put for three, I liked it. Doesn't mean I loved it. I feel like I could have loved this book if it weren't for so many like different scenarios. But and the characters, I feel like the characters, I feel like Sia could have been written better. I feel like Sia could have just been more, like I felt like I need to know her more. And I feel like Thomas is just a huge, I don't know, that dude's tripping me out. Like I don't know what to trust him or not. But I just feel like that. So I'm going to stick by my rating for 3.75. I think that's a good rating. Yeah, I will be reading Independent Study, hopefully this month if I have time. <laughs> Who knows my reading schedule. But if you, if any of you guys have read this book, please let's talk about it. I would love to talk about it. I haven't talked to a lot of people who have read this, so it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts. And that is all for me. See you guys next time. Bye.